Hey everyone, and welcome back to another special episode on the Polymega. Thanks to Shiro Cage, I've realized that there's actually a little bit of an audio issue here. This has nothing to do with emulation, uh, this actually has to do with the system itself. Please do keep in mind that I do have a beta unit, so that's probably why there were, have been some issues. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about per se, uh, there's actually a, a like an audible clicking sound that um, that occurs and it, it's weird because it does actually occur in video games as well which is kind of weird so it causes like the audio to pause in game a bit so I don't know what's up I'm working with the, the poly mega dudes right now just to try and see like if this is a bug or anything like that, um, but we'll we'll get back to you. But the purpose of today's video is to talk about patches. This was something that was requested to talk a little bit about how patches work. So I'm going to show you. So first thing is any game that you want to play, right? Any game you want to play. If you click on it, you can go to play and you'll see it says select patch start classic mode which is just basically no patches or anything like that and then start new game so if we look at the the patches that we have uh, the only ones that i have installed are the three for police knots so the three individual discs and then for Linkle liver story so there's a couple of things i want to let you guys know of okay so first off the polymega accepts the following patch files ips PPF, UPS, BPS, XDelta, XDT, and XD. That's it. That's all. So if there are any other patches or patch files that you have, the, the Polymega itself will not be able to patch your games. And all you got to do is open up your USB or anything else really that you have and create a folder called patch and then just dump all of your patches into that particular uh, USB or that folder rather. Okay, so I've obviously done that. So we'll just go to something really, really simple like, uh, well, we can go to police knots, why not? Let's go to police knots, uh, here it is. So we go to police knots, we'll pick the first disc, right? We'll go here. Uh, you'll see it says remove patch. So let's go ahead and remove the patch and let's install the patch and then we'll say start new game now what you can't see is right now my USB stick is like uh, it's it's flashing like crazy it's got a little LED on it to know when it's uh, being accessed and it takes a little while like as you can see here it does take a little while for the patch to be applied to your to your game but it will boot eventually and I know, trust me, it will boot, it will boot. It just takes a, takes a little while. As you can see, there you go. So that's it. So now, now the game is completely patched and we'll tell in just a second, once it loads. Do, 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 do. Konami, man, I miss Konami. When they actually, you know, used to make video games. You remember those days? I know, seems like a lifetime ago. Okay, so here we go. You see what just happened? As soon as I press start, it said version 1.0.1 English. Do, 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 do. Say new game. And here we go. You have your fully patched game. Save states work. Uh, everything works. I'm actually going to be reviewing this game, but now that I know that there's potential for some audio issues, I'm a little annoyed because I already captured all of the footage, but I digress. We're here for patches. So anyways, so this was proof that it worked, right? But you may be wondering about a few other games. So let's, let's go. And I'm not going to show you hundreds of games. That's not the point of this. The point is just to show you how patches work. So if I wanted to play this again, I could remove the patch. You'll see here that I've got different save states. Um, those are disk specific, okay? And so are patches. So for example, if I go into disk three here, say play, uh, I have the, the patch has already been installed. I already have a save state. I've, I've just played through the game uh, recently for a review. So the other one that uh, I reviewed 
uh, fairly recently was this bad boy right here, Linkle Liver Story. So you'll see it's already pre-patched, right? I don't need to worry about this. But you might be wondering about some of these other formats. So there is one game in particular that I was having nothing but trouble with. And it's this bad boy right here. So look very, very closely at the top under where it says Akumaju um, Dracula X, you'll see it says EN 1993. And if you go over here, it, it says, what is that? HRKM 1993, okay? So what the deal is, is there was a patch available for this particular game that I could not get the Polymega to read because it was in a format that the Polymega doesn't support. So what you can do, okay, is you can go over here to the system, you can click on the database, you can go into the system that you want, and if you press the R1 button, it skips. Okay, so like it'll go to NES, and then it goes to the PAL version, then it goes, you know, like SNES and so on and so forth, right? So we want to go to PC Engine. All right, come on, where are you? Mega CD, Saturn, 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 PlayStation, PlayStation, one more PlayStation, Neo Geo CD... Graphic 16 okay so PC Engine but it's actually PC Engine CD and it's this game right here so what you do is you click on this and you'll take a look now keep in mind right this is just the database that's all this is so you'll notice that there are multiple versions of the game that the Polymega has been updated to to recognize so there's this one, which I have, honestly, I have no idea what this version is, this KMCO version. Then there's the one I, I already had that's already installed. And then there's this EN version. So, so what is this? Well, what this is, it's a pre-patched version of the game. So what I essentially I did was I downloaded the patch onto my PC. I burnt a, another copy of this game. And when I put it into my Polymega, it recognized it as an official pre-patched game. So those are the two ways that the those are the two ways that the the Polymega essentially handles patches. And I think it's pretty pretty cool. And there's nothing stopping them from you know updating that database to recognize more and more and more of these games as time goes on. So yeah, so this is this is pretty much it. So if you wanted to play Rondo of Blood in English on the original, you know, the original version of it, you can absolutely do that uh, with ease. So always remember that if you're having issues with getting a patch to work, make a different CDR of that game, and you should be you should be good to go. So obviously we're we're good with this. I don't need to show you anything else. And that's pretty much it. So that's just a really quick look at how patches work and how you can verify if a certain game is is supported. So why don't we go? Um, I'm trying to think of something else that maybe we could could be on here. What about Super Famicom? Let's go. Let's see. Because I haven't tried any of the uh, any of the cart games yet. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so that's PAL version, Super Famicom. Okay, what about like Final Fantasy? You know what I mean? Like Final Fantasy V or something like that. Oh boy, this is gonna be a while. Let's see. All right, so Final Fantasy V. There you go. They have a pre-patch version right there. So if you bought a backup cart that supported that version, the English translation version, it would be recognized here and they would allow you to install it no problem. And then of course that's the original version right there. So there you go guys, that's just a really quick look at how patches work on the Polymega and this always keep in mind that this is a beta unit that I have in my hands right now. So obviously it's, it's, you know, it's liable to change uh, before you get your hands on the system. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back soon with another video.